very warm welcome to the trading mentors and to the members. <coughs> it's the 18th of May, 10.42 in the morning. I just thought I'd give you this uh, video on the for the members who don't have the advanced charts. Um, so what we have here, we have the Euro Yen which we bought at um, 131.94 somewhere back back here somewhere and we're now 200 pips up are we something like that I don't know uh, we've been moving our stop later on and I'll let you know through telegram what that stop is likely to be but I wanted to explain how to use free charts because you don't have to have the advance you will make more money but nonetheless, the basic charts should still make a profit. And so let me explain what these ribbons are. You should have read my book by now. I call it the ripple effect, but it's the ribbon um, technique. <coughs> so on the left, we have the four hour chart. And on the right, we have the one hour chart. So this is how your chart should look every morning. And all we're looking for is for the price to be above all the moving averages. Now the moving averages set here are 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 and 55 exponential moving averages. Whenever the price moves above the moving average, that's probably whereabouts we bought it back here something somewhere about there and uh, you want both charts to agree now whenever the price <coughs> stays above the moving average the ribbon then that's a very strong trend one of the reasons why we don't have targets is because we never know how far it's going to go in a trend now the advanced chart keeps you ultra safe in terms of stops so we have not been stopped out but if you follow this rule here um, whenever you get into the trade let's say you entered here at 132.34 maybe because it's gone above the ribbon you need to make sure your stop is below the previous low so 132.03 3190 would be a good one and don't have a tight stop the tighter your stop the higher the chance of it being hit as you probably notice we have very wide stops for a normal trade it's about 80 pips to 100 pips no more than that and for an advanced long-term trend it would be about 200 pips and as you probably realize, we very rarely get stopped out <coughs> on the initial uh, entry. So now, for instance, we bought at 131.94. So now it's 133.09. So we just what I would do is move your stop to about 132.50, below the black line, below the last line. Now it can reverse of course and break that as it did there as it did there but whenever it comes into this area is another potential buy that's called a swing so there are opportunities throughout this trend to get into it if you've not entered at the early stage I'm not active enough in the charts to do many swings Um, <clears throat> but if you are more active in your chart you can get many opportunities I mean I don't look at charts all day it's not my thing well that's it for this update this is very simple actually let's have a look at other uh, let's have a look US Swiss shall we just to see the pattern on the reverse side Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so this is the US Swiss. We sold this at 
0.9087. So we actually sold it very early on the advanced charts. So we sold it up here. So we are let's see we're about there. We sold it. So we're about 112 pips in profit so far. So there was an opportunity there. Do you see that? As the price came up and went back down again, there was a sell there at 9021. So you had two opportunities to get into this. This is why it's best to have a wider stop than you think, because it keeps you in the trade. But initially your stop, if you're going to enter down here, your stop should be at the very top and above there. Plus, don't forget to add your pips as well. So going back to the four hour chart on your left, um, the other thing you can do, which is quite useful, but it's delayed. I rarely use it, but it is useful sometimes, is to have a look at the MACD on the four hour. If it gets confirmed, then it's highly likely, probably, that it's going to fall. Again, making sure that you trail the stop. We rarely have a target. I think we've got a target here of 89.50 on this one um, because we've got a strong feeling this is going to bounce up. So let's see where 89.50 is down there somewhere. So it may well hit today. We don't mind because we're going to lock in on some profits anyway. It's all very relaxing, isn't it? <laughs> There should be no stress with this. It's a matter of putting a position on, putting a safe stop on, and then trailing the stop as it goes. And that way, you lock, lock it. And it's not all about what the one trade is it. As you probably realised, uh, we have a basket of uh, opportunities. And when the basket of opportunities go all the, the same way in profit, then your account grows quickly. Well, that's it for today and hopefully that's helped you. Just have a look at your charts, put up these charts on your broker. If your broker doesn't offer free charts, then there's something wrong. <clears throat> but um, good trading.